Welcome back to the channel, everybody. This is the GX Simmer, and we are on Chapter 6 of Nina and Amanda. And if you like today's content, please like, share, subscribe, click the notification bell so you always know when I'm coming out with new content. Let's get into Chapter 6 of Nina and Amanda, and I got to tell you, this is probably one of my favorite chapters of the whole entire story, and you're about to see why. So let's get into it. Now, when we left, left off... Amanda had broken up with Jack. She had taken stock of the whole situation and some time has passed since then. So right now it's about six, well, it is six months later and Amanda has been divorced for two years. So she's home alone. She's got a new apartment, sitting on her couch in her sweats, channel surfing, bored stiff. And a lot has gone on since we have last caught up with Nina and Amanda. As I said, they have been divorced for two years. Um, shortly after Amanda broke off with Jack, Jack sent a legal document asking to be bought out of the vet clinic. It had Amanda basically sell her house and business. And she moved to a small one-bedroom apartment in Evergreen Harbor and just decided to resign herself to a quiet, solitary lifestyle. She did open another clinic after receiving an inheritance from her great-grandfather who passed away during that time. She did hire a few employees with two who came on board from the other clinic and kept everything strictly business. She doesn't want a Jack situation ever again. She doesn't want any situation for a while. She needs to be single and get her head right. So that's where she is right now. So she sees this commercial come on to the TV about Selva Dorada, and she's always wanted to go. Her father has always told amazing stories about it, and it was the place he committed his affair in, too. Still, she's curious. Why did her dad love it there so much? She books a vacation package via the computer and goes to Selva Dorada for a week's vacation to see for herself. Upon arriving, she checks into the Hotel Salvadoria, and a young woman behind the counter checks her in. Amanda's not sure, but there's something familiar about her. She brushes it off since everyone here is so friendly. She puts her bag in a room and then goes down to the bar, ordering herself a drink. She likes Latin music that's playing and watches the locals do the local dance, which is called the rumba sim. But she doesn't feel any better. It was a mistake to come down here, she thinks to herself. She feels worse as she stares at her drink, holding it with one hand, sipping. She thinks about the past and the people she's hurt. Maybe she should just fly home tomorrow morning. The bartender puts a drink down beside her. Hey, look, I, I didn't order this, Amanda says. The bartender points to a man at the end of the bar. The man smiles at her and raises his glass. She smiles back and raises her glass back at him. She smiles back at him and decides to go down to the end of the bar and maybe talk with him. He looks kind of cute. Hi, he says with a smile, leaning on the bar. Hi, she smiles back. It's the nicest smile she's ever seen on a man, and he has gentle brown eyes. Thanks for the drink. Well, I hate to see a beautiful, sad woman drink alone, he tells her. Amanda, spotting the pickup line, chuckles and flirts back. <laughs> oh, really? Do you say that to every beautiful, sad woman you meet in a bar? <laughs> Not everyone, he replies with a grin. Can I buy you another? I still have the one, she says with a smirk. Well, could I join you then, he asks. Sure, she says. Just out of curiosity, why do you look sad, he asks. She scoffed, nearly spitting out her drink. <laughs> wow, you're direct, aren't you? Well, in my line of work, people frequently tell me things, he says. Oh, all right. So you're a cop, therapist, life coach, she asks. <laughs> well, something like that, he jokes. Listen, I'm on vacation for a week. I come down here usually once a year. What about you? Uh, first time, she says, sipping a drink. He smiles as he hears a Latin song playing. Ah, oh, well, this is a great tune. Get a dance? Amanda smirks and says, all right. They begin to dance. Amanda laughs as she's having fun. He's very suave and charming. What a great guy. It's then she begins to feel her itch needs to be scratched. She's on vacation. What the hell? 
If he's willing, it doesn't matter. They laugh and talk, dance some more. He shows her how to do the local dance. She messes up, but she's having a blast. He spends hours with them laughing, chatting, and enjoying his company. It's a fun time. He can't seem to get enough of her. A slow, sultry tune begins to play. He slow dances with her, holding her in his arms. You're good at this, she says, loving his touch. The smell of his cologne and the warmth of his body against her. I'm good at a lot of things, he answers back in a low, seductive voice, loving how she feels against him. He loves the smell of her hair and her perfume, and he never wants to let her go. Amanda raises her head to look into his eyes, saying softly, You want to get out of here? He smirks at her and says in a low voice, Okay. She takes his hand and leads him up to her room through the staircase. When they go inside, they kiss each other passionately. And basically, the itch is being scratched. It's been forever since she's been with anyone. What happens in Selva Dorada stays in Selva Dorada, or so the saying goes. And she can't deny. He's good. So good. It's like a breath of fresh air in an aged vintage rolled up into one. He's an intentive lover, satisfying her every desire, and she's doing the same to him. And he kisses amazing. She feels lost in them. Yeah, she thinks to herself, this is shaping up to be a great vacation. After, they sit on the bed and chat. She's having a drink of water, and they're laughing. Oh, that was fun, he jokes as he looks over at her. She laughs and says, oh, by the way, I just realized I don't even know your name. I've never taken a man to my bed and never known his name. That's a first. He laughs and says, it's, it's Anthony, Tony for short. I'm Amanda. Hi, Amanda. Nice to meet you. He says as he kisses her lips gently. She breathes in as he parts from her and gives her a little chuckle. I didn't expect this when I came off the plane this morning. Neither did I, she says. You were a very pleasant surprise. He laughs and looks at her. She asks him, how do you do that? Do what? He responds. Make me feel special, she says. You are, he whispers. No, I'm really not, she says, looking away. Oh, no, Amanda, he tells her softly as his gaze meets hers. You are wrong. I can see it. You've got an amazing spark inside of you and a gentle soul. Stop. You don't know me or what I've done. If you did, you may not like me at all, she says in a low voice, bowing her head. Is that why you look sad? He asks. She nods. I I've made some serious mistakes in my life and I hurt a lot of people. <laughs> What's so wrong? He asks. She shakes her head and says, All right. I cheated on my wife. Then I agreed to marry the man I cheated on my wife with and broke the engagement because he was mean to my daughter and I never loved him. Ah, Tony says. Yeah, that's a bad one. But you know what you did and you're sorry. That means you deserve a second chance. You shouldn't beat yourself up forever for it. She smiles and scoffs. <laughs> you know, I may never see you again after this, so I don't mind telling you. I had something really good. I fucked it all up. I made so many mistakes in my life. Yeah, everyone does, he responds. It's what you do after that counts. Nobody's perfect. I've done things that I'm ashamed of, too. Like what, she asks. Well, I haven't spoken to my brother in over 20 years, he tells her. What he did wasn't right either, but I never forgave him. Why, she asks. Well, I was in love once. I was going to marry her. Her name was Katarina. She was beautiful. Then the day of our wedding, just as we were to take our wedding vows, she told me that she loved someone else. Your brother? Amanda asked. Tony nods. She slept with him the night before. And I had waited for her, but she didn't. I walked out of the church, never spoke to him again. Imagine that, never speaking to your brother in over 20 years. He is my best man, too, and my best friend. So I took a vacation to Salvadoria. 
in Salvadorada because my mother was from here and I've been back every year since. Wow. I thought I had it rough. Your story trumps mine, she says. Yeah, well, after I moved to San Machuno, I never wanted another relationship again. Yeah, that's where I am too, Amanda said. I've hurt too many people. I don't want to hurt anyone else. I hear that a lot where I work, he says. All types of stories from broken hearts of all types and most of them saying how they never want another relationship again. Can't say I blame them either. I never asked. What do you do for a living? Are you a therapist? Amanda asks. He laughs. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm a bartender. Oh, now it makes sense, Amanda says with a nod. Yeah, the stories are the best part of the job. I hear all kinds of stories, and sometimes I find all people want is to have a kind ear and have them listen. Sometimes even get a date out of it. Aside from that, I love what I do. It's fun. What do you do? I'm a vet, she says. Ah, I can see that about you, he tells her with a smile. I figured you for a doctor or a nurse of some type. Well, I am a doctor. Doctor of veterinary medicine, DVM. Always loved animals, dogs especially. Oh, that's right, Tony says. I didn't mean to imply you weren't a doctor, just a different kind of doctor. I like dogs too. I don't have one because of my schedule, but maybe one day, he said with a grin. Me too. I'd love to have a dog. My kid would love it, but with my work and living in a cramped apartment would be fair to the dog, Amanda says. He strokes her cheek and says, I'm glad to have met you, Dr. Amanda. So am I, Tony. They kiss and begin again. This time it's more emotional and connected. It feels more like they're making love and not just random crazy woo-hoo like it was earlier. He doesn't want to admit it, but he's falling in love with her. And he knows it may just end here. So he's cautious. But for now, she's his. And he can love her in secret. She wakes up with him the next morning. And it feels wonderful. She gives him a smile as they get out of bed. And says, good morning. Hi, he says with a smirk. Hell of a night, huh? Amanda says. Well, it can be a hell of a day, too, he replies with another kiss. I like that, she says in a breath through their kiss. And it leads into an early morning tryst. Afterwards, he says, ah, oh, you know, I'm starving. To which she implies, me too. Hey, get dressed. I'm going to take you for some authentic cuisine. Not the stuff they serve in the hotel. The real stuff. The good stuff. And I know the best places. Let's go. Well, I need a shower first, she says. He smiles and says, <laughs> need someone to wash your back? Smirking back and getting out of bed so he can get an eyeful, she says, among other places. He chuckles and follows her into the shower where they fool around. Tony takes Amanda into the village and shows her around. They have fun and he takes her to a small restaurant that he swears has the best food in the village. She thinks it's delicious. She's never had anything like it. Terrific breakfast with a great drink to boot. And that's very refreshing and not too heavy on the alcohol. <laughs> they walk around throughout town and have fun seeing the sights and taking silly photos. Meanwhile, they talk and are having the best time with one another. She's never met anyone like him. They have a nice dinner together in a restaurant by the river. And then later, they go back to her room for another round. He's holding her in his arms in the dead of the night when he says to her, I'm having a great time with you. So am I, she says. I have a crazy idea, he says. Since we're both having a great time with each other, let's spend the rest of the vacation together. I'll cancel my room, bring my stuff here, split the cost of the room with you, and we'll save a bundle. It's better than spending a vacation alone, huh? Okay, she whispers. And they kiss again, beginning again. Amanda can't remember the last time she said this much woohoo. It certainly has been a while. And he is such a good lover. She feels so relaxed and she loves his caring and gentle nature. He makes her feel like she's the only woman in his world and she loves that feeling. And she's doing things with him she would never do with someone she just had a fling with. Every time she's with them, she feels like she is connected to him. And the same is true for him as well. How did this happen? But she's scared. Part of her is hoping it's just for the duration. She can't have a relationship and fall in love. She's carrying too much baggage. 
One day a week, he takes her to a little cafe where the food is outstanding and the drinks are delicious. Amanda is dying for some coffee, but he gives her something that's just as good. It's called Ajata, and she loves it. They take in more sights and events over the remaining days while the nights burn with passion. It's the best vacation she's ever been on, and she's finding she's falling for him. The final night of their vacation has a festival in the village, and it's a lot of fun. It's set in the center of the village and filled with dances, colorful displays, music, food, drinks, fireworks, and laughter. It goes from sundown to midnight. Everyone dresses up in bright colors. They are no exception, and he can't take his eyes off of her. She loves being with him. She wishes the vacation would never end. How is she going to get him out of her mind and heart? These memories will last a lifetime. They spend their last night together. It's romantic and sensual. She feels like she's falling in love with him, and she is. Amanda wonders if it's the last day she ever sees him again. But now, in this moment, he is hers. Tonight, she treats him like the man she loves and showers him with passion and affection. He does the same to her. He knows it now. He's fallen in love with her, and while he gazes into her eyes, he sees his whole life. How could he ever let it go? Will he ever see it again? He's always been able to make a quick break with this. Should, should it be just a vacation memory to look back upon? In the morning, while they pack, he asks, what time is your flight? Three, she says, yours? Eh, it's four, he said. Listen, when I get back, can I call you? She smiles at him and says, I'd like that. He smiles back and asks her to text him her number, which she does. He sends her his. I'll be bogged down with work the first week, but the week after, I'll call, okay? Sure, she nods. Do you want to ride to the airport together? Yes, she says. After they check out and pay the hotel, they ride to the airport, and the whole time his arm is around her in the car. They don't say much. As they sit together in the small terminal waiting for a flight, they hear it. Oasis Springs International, flight 789 now boarding. Oasis Springs, flight 789, boarding now. That's my ride, she says. They stand, and he embraces her, then kisses her goodbye. I'll call you soon. I had an amazing time. Me too. I'm glad I met you, she says. Uh, Not as much as I am, he tells her. She kisses him once more and boards the flight, looking back at him as he waves to her and blows her a kiss before she boards and heads home. The only question left to answer is, will they ever see each other again? But I guess you're going to have to wait to chapter 7 to find that out. So if you like today's content, please remember to like, share, subscribe, comment down below, hit the notifications bell so you never miss any of my content. And I'll see you next time on the next episode. I'd like to thank you very much for all of your support. You guys are amazing. Every day this channel is growing. It's all because of you. I'd like to thank you once again for all your comments. You're just amazing. Big shout out goes especially to Just a Mom That Sims, KT. Thank you so much, KT. You're awesome. I love your content too. And I am always happy whenever I see a comment from you. I also want to give a big shout out to Matinee. I'm glad to see her back. She has wonderful content. Check it out. Links in the description. And I will see you next time on Nina Amanda. Have a great day or night. And thanks for joining me today. Take care.